How I lost and got my girl back. Oh, yeah. Hey, I know you know right now, in high, especially in high school, bro, when you lose your bitch, that time period where you lost her, my boy, she got railed. They be coming back at the worst times, too. They be coming back when you about to get in another relationship or when you talking to bitches already. It's never good, bro. I can see she's already there standing with my jacket in hand. They always want to give you some shit back, bro. Chat, never. If you actually trying to break up with a bitch, bro, never go back for that shit, bro. see this hey all right so so i move on so like let's say let's say she like texts me i don't hit her up for a while and then she texts me what what do i do then david then tells me that if that happens if that happens jordan 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 come on boy yes hey y'all see this uncle his uncle that he made that one story time on on the, on the story this weekend. Okay. Look at my boy. Guess what? What? All right. You know nah. that one shorty? The one I told you about? The one from Instagram? Oh, you mean the one with the... Uh, it's a paid promotion. Uh, okay, okay. It's so, a paid so promotion. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Is it? About to go get some pizza tonight. Maybe bring her back to the crib. I mean, okay, okay. That's nice, man. Well, I hope you have fun with that, bro. Yeah. Is this a porn yeah. intro? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's the, oh my god, they're about to, he's about to fuck himself. He's about to start making out with himself right here, the way he just looked at him. Hey, uh, hey, oh, fuck. Bro, you think you could, like, uh, you think you could spot me, like, $40? Wow. Look, I get. Okay, so this is a part where it's like. Can I have forty dollars? I'm supposed to just get. I'm supposed to just give you forty dollars. That's when he starts talking to himself. He's like, maybe I could pay you back in some way. Pay me back? Like how? And then that's when his self stands up and walks over towards him, and lays him down and shit. And then I paid in two days. I got you, please, bro. I got how you. How are you out here chasing women? You don't even got forty dollars, bro. Please. No, you ain't pay me back from the last time. You always talking about some old stuff, man. This is important. We're brothers. That bro, Cuban just, is just sign up for crazy. Target, I want a Cuban. Bro, bro only bling I want for real is a Cuban, a Roly, and a fat, obnoxious wire G chain. An obnoxious one. Probably some rings, but that's not too expensive. I'm going to see what I'm, I'm, I'm going to see what, it, what what the funds looking like after taxes. After I pay them, I'm going to see what the word is. I have the money tonight. What? Current. It's a mobile bank account. It comes free with a visa debit card and you get paid up to two days faster so you know you get paid on friday today's wednesday uh, you'll get the money today wow if you sign up right now <laughs> he said wow a couple of days but because it's an actual bank account you yeah link it to your apple pay pay for the pizza tonight yeah shorty doesn't gotta know that you are a broke boy yeah man you get free w a w pay hey this this is some w sponsorship shit overdraft protection for Wait, what happens when you react to a paid promotion? Do you have to include paid promotion in your video? For up to hundred dollars, you can add like whenever you post a video with a paid promotion, you, you gotta fucking no. I bet. Nationwide. You can deposit checks with your smartphone, and it only takes two minutes to sign up. Wow, thanks, bro. That'd be a fucking W way to. You know what I'm saying? Hey, react to this video that has this our, our paid sponsorship in that motherfucker. React to it. You really said my skin. Pay you this down a third. And nobody know that I'm low-key sponsoring it. The hey, these niggas probably sent me this credit card on some shit. Y'all don't know. 200 IQ. She flaked. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she flaked. That's I'm uh, part of the sponsorship bro. chat. Mm. But at least you got some money now. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least you're not a broke boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. By the way, you know. While we here, you might as well pay me back for that other thing, you know, since you got some money now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean... Listen to what he just said. Listen, what does he mean by this? By the way, you know, while we here, you might as well pay me back for that other thing, you know, since you got some money now. You know what I mean? <laughs> what does he mean by that? GGs. I mean, when you look at it, it's like a win-win for the both of us. <laughs> hey, bro! 
know what I'm saying? You know, since you ain't you ain't got a date no more, you know, download that current app, you know, get some get some current cash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Since you currently single, <laughs> oh, shit. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me back my money, bro. You owe me money, bro. Yeah, you single. <laughs> you ain't got no. <laughs> get current. <laughs> Give me my money. So this is the third video documenting the romantic that nigga a but demon? rocky relationship between me and my high school sweetheart. I highly Man, recommend you watch me. the two previous videos so that talk you can get me. the whole story. But if you need a refresher, when we last left off, how I lost and got my girl back. I explained how I allowed my irrational jealousy and insecurities to destroy my relationship with the first girl I ever fell in love with. Okay. But I suppose, thankfully, an unlikely mentor entered oh, my life, fuck. and with his advice, He's a demon. I got my girl back. This nigga's one last time. So who was this guy? How many times you lost your well, bitch? Hey, I know you know right now in high, especially in high school, bro. When you lose your bitch, that time period where you lost her, my boy, she got railed. She got fucked. That space and time where you quote unquote lost her, bro, she got. Fucked. Look, I'm just letting you know, bro. All y'all in the chat, you think she? Hey, believe what you want to believe. Believe what you want to believe. His name was David. Unlike anybody I had ever met before, David Bro, transferred what? to my high hey, school Hey, Paul. Hey, year. he was this big, light-skinned Hispanic. Let, let him, like let him, let him tall, sit in it. Like a tank. And when dude came through, it was hard for you not to notice. For one, rocked a shaved head. Never seen that before on someone that young. And yeah. That didn't was there any ball niggas in your school? Catch your attention? Then certainly his drip would. Arguably Them the Jordans? most drippy dude in the whole school. Yeah, Team Jordans and boot cut jeans on. Okay. Air Maxes, only rock true religion jeans and polo Ralph Lauren and Nautica shirt. You're a broke teenager in high school. Gameplay wise, that probably. Is very uh, impressive. But the most striking uh, thing about David, I can't choose. Wouldn't actually hit you until he opened his mouth. And that's that because goes. on the rare occasion yeah, that he actually spoke to you, you would be dazzled by his shiny gold grills that sat on his teeth. I'm not gonna lie, I never understood grills, bro. I, I, I never, I never understood, bro. That shit, to this day, that shit ugly as fuck to me, dog. That shit ugly as shit to me, dog. Glee, yeah, hey, glee for, hey, look. And I'm from Florida, bro. Well, they rock that shit the most. I still don't get it. That shit ugly as fuck, boy. And even more surprising than that was the fact that he talked like Kodak, bro. Yes. Wait, is this nigga Kodak? Is this, wait, is this nigga in Florida at the time? Bro, I don't think you understand how hood niggas talk in Florida, bro. <laughs> you can't understand someone, bro. If you're not from Florida, you're not gonna understand a word they saying, bro. I remember <laughs> there was this one nigga, dog. Oh my god, I don't even know if he was from Florida, bro. The way this nigga was talking, bro. He would literally, he would come to class. He would like, teacher asked him a question. <laughs> he would like, yeah, the fuck, talk. Yeah, bro, I ain't even know that, Mr. Mine. Uh, talk to him, bro. I ain't even talking, bro. bro. I ain't fuck, bro. No, shit. I don't even know that shit. I block you, so quiet. Like, what, bro? Black. This light-skinned Hispanic dude taught like a dark-skinned dude with dreads from the dirty south. I'm talking about that glee. You feel yeah. me? And that's because David yeah. grew up in the hoods of South Florida. I'm oh, talking yeah. Lake City. Opalaka. Opalaka. Miami <laughs> Gardens. This if nigga's an Opalaka. Know, bro, it's not a game over there. So, as some of you know, I played varsity basketball. I fucking hate Miami. School, that shit's fucking just... That's how I, I hate met driving David. in it. He showed up one day for tryouts, and Mans was nice, so he made the team. But he mostly kept to himself. Never said too much to anybody, really, including the coach. So that's how we knew each other, but we wouldn't become friends until the second semester of senior year when we ended up in the same marine biology class. Bro, did y'all take marine bio? Marine bio was so easy, bruh. I mean, actually, my teacher was actually kind of dog shit, so it was kind of hard because the teacher was ass, but the class itself was pretty easy. Now, Marine Bio, it's the class you save for fucking last, so your senior year is easy as fuck. It's the science you say. Marine Bio, oh my god, just an easy, easy, easy grade, bro. This may come as a surprise to you, but David wasn't particularly passionate 
about marine biology. Needless to say, when he showed up for the first day of class and saw me sitting in the back, he was happy to see someone he knew. Oh, he look at him. He was smart. Talk like him. I want him to talk like him. Hey, be his voice actor. So he could cheat. That's truly how our friendship started. Every class we had together, I would happily let him copy off homework. my homework or cheat off my tests. You're admiring my boy. That, that, that so boy. I wanted him to have good grades, but oh, also yeah. because w I was teammate. one of those kids who was good at school, but also didn't care about school. Like, w I was teammate. good at an ass to copy my homework, <laughs> and I would just hand it over. I was solid like that. And that really bought me a lot. No, okay, see, you care to an extent because you had your homework done, my boy. You had your homework done. The only time I cared is when the test was in front of my face and some shit, and I went on demon timing. Other than that, I ain't doing shit, bro. I ain't doing no homework at home, bro. I never, bro, I did my homework in school, bro. In school, I never did that shit at home. But chat, when you get to college, that's kind. It kind of fucks you when you get to college, bro. Cause in college you actually got to do your homework, bro. Don't get, don't get stuck on that. A lot of points. Nigga, I'm fit. <laughs> and from that point on, we became boys to the point that we would occasionally hang out outside of class and basketball practice. And it became clear to me that David saw me as more than a bump in his GPA. When one day he comes uh, to class duo. and sees me sitting in the back of the room looking. Oh, he down bad. Out. This was right after my girl he and down I had bad. for the tough. second time. And it was affecting me. So David comes, he sits beside me, That's and he tough. asked me what's going on. I told him that me and my girl just broke up, and I was pretty bent up about it. David instantly pulls out his phone and just starts scrolling through pictures of girls that he's, you know, having relations with. Then he was like, yo, this is what you need to be on. Forget <laughs> that girl. But uh, that wasn't me. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. couldn't just move on like that. So when he realized that wasn't the answer I wanted to hear, he decided to give me some advice. First, he told me I had to move on. He said that yeah. if a girl leaves a dude, he can't really get her oh, back. Oh, he got left? She has to come back. And as long as she can tell that you want her, oh, no. she's gonna stay away. So I hear this and I'm like, so like, you mean like just don't text her and stuff? Oh, okay, yeah, I can, I can do that. He tells me, no, the relationship is over. It's done, move on. Of course, I'm confused. Cause I'm like, well, if, if I, no, like, he's speaking if facts. I on, Homeboy how, speaking facts. How how am I Homeboy supposed speaking to get facts. Her back? He's like Don. He's speaking over. facts. You're not gonna get it's back always. what you lost. But there's a chance you might want to start some new. Always, there's change, always a chance. But always. As long as you always hold on to the old stuff, she's always gonna know you the same person. And look, you can move on. She might not. This TK and Josh story, kinda, not really, kinda. But both me and TK met from our ex. The only reason why I know TK is because of my ex. The only reason why he knows me is because of his ex. And now they both exes. And now me and TK are in a relation. Are like, I don't mean it like that. Fuck. So, fuck. Fuck. My ex and his ex were like best friends. We met. Now me and TK are like best friends. And then them two hate each other. And now they're exes. Now they don't even exist. We don't, I don't even know. Like, what? Nigga, you gay? Bro, I'm talking about like, like friend relationship, bro. T up, bro. Not come back, but... If you do move on, then maybe she'll see that and come back. I'm like, okay. All right, so so I move on. So like, let's say let's say she like texts me. I don't hit her up for a while, and then she texts me. What what do I do then? David then tells me that if that happens, I basically got a curver. He was saying yeah. that if she sees that I look like I'm moving on, she's gonna kind of like. Test it, you feel yeah, me? To yeah. see if it's like real or not. And if I jump at it the first time she shows me some attention after breaking up with me, then she's gonna know I didn't really move on. She basically has to be asking to come back. Anything short of that is a test. Of course, <laughs> Look at this nigga's hair blowing in the wind and shit. Crazy. First, she tells me that I basically gotta forget about her, and then in the off chance that she actually does hit me up. I gotta like you have to, you have, you have to be stand you have to be like, like don't care type shit explicitly asking to get back with it it, it just didn't sound like no this is actually w sense. advice david sees the confusion on my face and probably already feeling like he's been trying way too hard to explain this to me so then he's like yo do whatever you want so basically <laughs> oh, i thought God. that i was still where i was oh, God. He didn't have bro, i feel like bro uh, bro these are the conversations me and jordan had like Jordan, bro. Forget about the bitch, bro. They always come back, bro. Always.
Ask Jordan if I was right. I just want you to ask Jordan if I was right. Just ask Jordan if I was right. Help me at all. But I did think the whole moving on thing was probably for the best because there's no way she was going to come back. So I started to do that. And if you watch part one of this series, then you know what that looks like. Hanging out with the boys, playing basketball, and not contacting my ex. A few weeks go by, and then I get a text it's from Taylor saying that she had- They be coming back at the worst times too. They be coming back when you about to get in another relationship or when you talking to bitches already. It's never good, bro. I had one of my jackets and she wanted to return it to me. They be coming I back at the worst times, bro. So I said, okay. We decided to meet after school the next day in the middle of the campus, <laughs> yeah. and that's where she was going to give it to me. So after school the next day, I'm heading to the middle of campus, and I can see she's already there standing with my jacket in hand, and she was looking mad cute. And I'm like, man. Bitches, they always want to give you some shit back, bro. They, they always want to give you some shit back, bro. Chat, never. If you actually trying to break up with a bitch, bro, never go back for that shit, bro. Never go back for it, bro. Don't go back, bro. Don't go back. Don't, don't, don't fold, bro. Don't go back for that sweatshirt. Don't go back for that shoelace. Bitch, call you. Uh, you. You left your, you left your fucking one of your fucking phone cases here, and you like it? Don't fold, bro. I do miss that. But then I remembered what David said. If she doesn't make it clear, she lace, she they be trying to, to find back, anything, bro. And there's that no was yours. long talking to be had. So I walk my way over to her. I say, what's up? She says, hey, and then hands me my jacket. I say, thanks. Walk and away. And then with no hesitation or pause, I turn around and start walking away. Clearly, she didn't expect that. And she calls out to me. So I stop. I turn around. I'm Usually... This happens, but off. off uh, like, I mean, I guess yo, off the rip, she could call you out like that. She's like, really? Oh, like, yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Thanks. I see that really. And then she storms off. Yeah, and I'm just standing there like. <laughs> they said really, and then I leave. Yes, back. because at this point, I had really already moved on to a great degree. Oh, as far fuck. as I was concerned, life is funny. The relationship was over. I said we all live the I same life. Chat. Her to want to get back with me well, in a certain in, in, in different aspect I'm what is my man eating bro Got all these beautiful fruit in that fruit basket bro i see an apple i think that's an orange come on bro put that shit up bro you don't need that bro i'm trying that apple like <laughs> chilling at home this was back when i was still living with the aunt that kicked me out by the way i'm chilling in the kitchen eating like a banana or something when my phone eating a mango up. It was a text yep. from Taylor. Yep. I opened it and she was like, hey, <laughs> I want to talk. So I'm like, oh, that's bad vibes, bro. Hmm. I finished my banana and then I was like, yeah, I'm free right now. You can call me. I send it and not long after that, my phone starts to ring. So I pick it up and she's like, send bro, it. you know what's crazy? And then I was like, this message, if your girlfriend sends you this message, it's bad. Bad vibes, bro. It's bad. It's GG's. It, you, your, your heart sinks your... It, it's just GG's, bro. Like, oh, fuck. The fuck? The fuck we need to talk about, bro? What the fuck? If your ex or a bitch used to talk to send you this message, it's like, yeah, nah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm free right now. You can call me. I send it, and not long after that, my phone starts to ring. So I pick it up, and she's like, hey. I'm like, hey. Then she says, I miss you. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I miss you too. Uh, she says, uh, uh, well, uh, you didn't act like it today. We don't talk uh, for weeks, and that's how you treat me. I'm like, Taylor. <laughs> Face ass. What do, you, what do you want from me? You broke up with me. What, what, what is I supposed to do? And then it's quiet. But I didn't hear it. I didn't hear her ask to come back. So I was like, well, thanks for the jacket. Um, so you don't want to get back together. I'm like, skirt. Uh -huh. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? She She's talking like, about. I want to get back together. I'm like, oh. I like the way he talking to me in that girl voice. Like, oh, my. I, I, I want to get back together. Awesome shit. I'm like, oh yeah i mean yeah she you know i mean she like i said 
I miss you. And just like that, you know, this is not a very strange conversation to be had between two lovebirds in high school. So, you know, uh, we got back together and just like that, you know, got my girl back. All that just Shout to break up to again dude. in like a few but months and never talk to her ever again. again. Uh, hey, 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 look, bro. All that, all that stress just to break up again in the future and never talk to me. Because I never yeah. fixed the root that problem life. of why we broke up in the first place. Also, it was the end of senior year. I was about to move to California. She was going to stay in Florida. And long distance relationship plus both of us being teenagers and going to college yeah. doesn't quite it's spell strong relationships. So L, did bro. David's advice work? Well, for what I wanted at the time, I guess. I mean, but it's a W, that's and not then the advice ends up being me yeah, it's a lot of give to 18-year-old me today. Instead, I would tell him, hey, I know you're hurt, and I know that you think having a girlfriend is important and validates you as a desirable and worthful young man, but that is an illusion. No amount of success with girls is ever going to make you feel worthful man it's not even that it's just like you just get feelings for a bitch you know you just get caught up that's it it's not even that my deep for real i'm not gonna lie you just get caught up you just get feelings and shit. threatening to break up with me cause i don't spend two full days with her <laughs> i dead ass just want to chill alone sometimes oh my god am i in the wrong no 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 you're not she needs to learn how to be by her fucking self a girl is needy and a tech no you're not in the wrong no you're not she needs to work on her damn self. Not gonna lie. Mm. I'm gonna keep it a butt with you, my boy. Your relationship not gonna work out. I'm sorry. You're a person that likes to be alone. That likes it a long time. She's a bitch that needs to be. Is that somebody's gonna have to fucking uh somebody's gonna have to uh uh, uh what's it called, chat? Sacrifice. Somebody's gonna have to sacrifice big. And the person that sacrifices is low key not gonna be in the best of light. They're not gonna be happy. Compromise, yeah, compromise, sacrifice, yeah. So in the long run. Yeah, it might be GG's. But I know that's easier said than done. So you just got to stick with it and see what happens, honestly. In fact, so long as you continue to pursue women, you will never be all that you can Yo, be. Rage, you should watch the high so you will never be happy. Who gets Focus on yourself. Don't even give you PTSD. About a girlfriend. Learn who you are. Figure oh, out God. what's important to you. Master oh, God. your mind and your body with discipline. Listen to that voice in your head that tells you what to do. Ask it for guidance do that and you will become legendary so if the day ever comes that a girl is in your life mm -hmm. it will be because you chose her and she will be happy that you did life funny life changer for real <laughs> as soon as i say something about life i see a comment about life yeah that was a w video bro that was such a w video charles said i'm a big plus right now if i'm being honest Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket Niggas thought they had the swag But I'm really on it Look at you just window shopping That new bag I bought it